Hey guys, so, um, use, uh, I know people would question what the hell is Holland Donkeys and what the hell was that for? I can't tell you. Um, excuse me for if I get emotional at times, it's gonna get a little emotional. Um, to start off with, um, Holland Donkeys was this volleyball game my uh, science teacher back in seventh grade started for um, multi multillary or uh, sclerosis. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. It's MS. He started it for um, one of the teachers at our school who had MS, uh, Mr. Durham. Um, if you went to uh, Hillsborough Middle School, you would know it if you were there for like 2010, 2009, those years kind of. Do you know the years? So basically, Mr. Hall did this, and Mr. Hall had a team, and then Durham had a team, and he was the, um, it was like Durham Donkeys or Donkey Donkey. They were the donkeys, they called them, and then we had Durham. They were of the Mr. Hall. One second. I had to close my door. Um, back to this. Um, so basically, Mr. Hall, who was, so get rid of the in here, and it was Hall. And then Durham. So you should know if you went to Hillsborough Middle School. Um, if you didn't, you don't know this two teachers. Mr. Hall was a science teacher. And he was like the greatest science teacher you could ever get. He is the teacher every kid dreams to have. What he did basically was everything you did in his class was fun actually. It was a lot of fun. You liked doing the labs. You liked learning because he made it fun. And he just was different. You know, he brought us on a camping trip. He he took our pod on a camping trip to the intrepid to the drag races at English Town, to the Philadelphia Zoo, and um, stuff like that. The the drag races. People question how do you learn drag races? Friction and horses, and also friction. Learning about that stuff. Um, camping trip. Learn about wilderness. Learn about looking at the stars. Things like that. The astronomy. Learn a lot of that. Um, Mr. Hall was an extremely great guy. He rode a bike. He had like a team. He did all that. He did all that stuff. He was about 50 years old. He acted like an 18-year-old. Personality of like a 16-year-old. He like joked with everybody. He bugged you, messed with you, whatever. Great guy, you know. And um. Well, in the year of me going into eighth grade, 2009, that summer, going that year of 2009, that would be shifting over into like 2010, um, Mr. Earl passed away. On July 9th, 2009, Mr. Hall had a heart attack while riding his bike. He was 50 years old, healthy as can be. He was six foot eight, greatest guy anyone could have met. Gone. Like that. The whole school was in mourning that very first day. We don't start until September, and a lot of kids were still extremely like upset like me and some of my friends came in crying that day because it just it broke our hearts because we had him we knew who he was we knew the type of guy he was and for him to all of a sudden be gone it killed us you know and it killed 7C it changed a lot of people's lives um Facebook pages were made for Mr. Hall Kids in their 20s, writing on the wall saying, I remember him. And you sit there and you go, 
and they're in their 20s. They weren't, you know, they're like late 20s, close to 30s, and they're saying they knew who he was. That shows how much of an impact Mr. Hall had on a lot of people's lives. You know, he told people, live life to the fullest because you don't know what, what can come tomorrow. And, you know, Mr. Hall had died doing what he loved, riding his bike, being outside in the wilderness, just riding and doing what he loved, you know, it just, that was him, fun guy. Um, Hall and Donkeys, like I said in the beginning, was for MS, and on the bottom of the shirt, you also notice it said 2010. In 2010, they did the last volleyball game that they would ever play for this, this cause. Why? Wasn't the same without him. What happens at that game, it just, everybody was speechless. Everyone came in, sat in the bleachers, and usually Mr. All has everyone pumped up by then. Everyone came in, sat down on the bleachers. No one said a word to one another. Nobody. Everyone sat there. Some of the teachers came out and tried to get everyone wound up. No one said a word. No one stood up. And they realized that we were basically showing our our love for Mr. Hall by just being silent, giving him that moment of silence. And they followed us for about quite a few, for about five minutes, I would say. People sat there quiet. And then people started chanting, Mr. Hall, Mr. Hall. And when the national anthem was sung, after that was sung, it was, I mean, I forget who the person sang it, it was really great, wonderful. Um, after it was extremely emotional. Mr. Durham, the guy that ran the other team that was kind of managing it, s decided to um, speak out about Mr. Hall. There was not one person in that room that wasn't crying. Everyone was upset. It broke everyone's heart. Because Mr. Durham was extremely close to Mr. Hall himself, as, you know, throughout the years he worked at middle school. Um, on my other channel, I did make a video about uh, Mr. Hall's passing, and just like a quick, it was just a slideshow, kind of, no pictures or anything. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what the shirt's for. Um, it, it breaks a lot of people's hearts still thinking about it, you know. I always say, you know what, he died doing something he loved a lot, and that was riding his bike. That was a big passion. Of his life. He always talked about it, too. You know, he always tried to get kids to join on his team and ride with him and stuff like that. So. I just want to say this much. Mr. Hall, you will be missed. 7C will never, ever be the same. No one in that pod will ever be the same after your passing. No one has been. We miss you. We talk about you almost every day in school, things like that. We love you, and you know we hope you're there watching, watching us. You know, so uh, to Mr. Hall, we love you. And thanks, guys, for watching. Kind of just like understanding, I guess. But yes, that's what this shirt is for. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not. Um, but yeah, that's. That's like the basis of that. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, keep updated. Um, from now on, the videos are going to kind of be spaced out, I guess. On uh, It'll be like dramatic changes of what I do. So, if you want to request anything, go ahead and request. But sorry for the long video. Thanks for watching.